Welcome back to Vampire Survivors and today in the Among Us DLC we will play Rina that is a new character of course and we'll limit break the main weapon it's it's a sticky tongue okay that that's just it now I did a very quick run and by that I mean I just went in for five minutes because I checked out the limit break stats so we know what actually affects the character and uh, it's it, it's a very wild character I gotta say so you can already see area affects it so that means we'll go for boogaloo of illusion Usually I stay away from these. Abrazer also affects it, so let's take that. Usually I stay away from early limit break runs. At, at least at least when the DLC just came out, because I would like to explore a little bit more first, you know, and until the wiki has some information on how everything works. Because technically speaking, there could be a mechanic in the game that gives you... Uh, I would actually like to have Drona perfect. Yeah, there could be a mechanic in the game that we don't know about and you want to have a certain item and I don't know that. But hey, I think this will be a lot of fun, so let's explore it together. I'm still sick, as you may hear, but I think it has gotten a bit better. And we are back to 40 megabits on this video, so this should be fine. Maybe I'll actually do 30 megabits because um, I don't think this will be like a video where everything is covered in the weapon. <laughs> Not the first time I would have regretted these words. Empty Tome. Yeah, so I would say, uh, what do we do now? As you have seen, once we reach, I think, 1000 kills, we transformed into this monster shooting out like crazy. And this will happen again, I think, right now? No? I thought it happened also at 3000. Maybe it just happens again when it stops, you know, and it saves up all the, the things that happened, you know? Maybe it has happened at 2000, and it just waits for this duration to end. But yeah, did you see? It immediately went off again, and we just have a huge amount of tongues. Talk about licking the enemies to death, this is a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. As you may notice, the weapon seems to have a bias where it goes, like backwards there's nothing happening at all. That's a little bit weird. Ooh, there's the boss already, perfect. Though I will max out the little Among Us guy first. I think you definitely have to do that. Just waiting a little bit, just waiting a little bit. Uh, there he is, and just one more level up, come on. Yeah, we're just, we just licking all over the screen, this is amazing. So we want to get as much amount as possible, as well as just area to cover more. Because one problem that it looked like the game may have is... Oh, do I max this out now? That would be bad. But, oh, perfect. One problem the weapon may have is coverage, you know. But now we have it evolved, we deal high damage to the strongest enemy with a special attack. And uh, anything in its path, like you see that red tongue, it's 300 damage. This one, the main one, deals... 270? Huh? Um, huh. I just did this run and the main attack did like 50 damage and, and the special one did 300. Wait, what? What, really? I mean, there's definitely a difference, but it's only 30 damage. Uh, maybe it's because we are powered up right now and I wasn't powered up the moment I checked. Okay, there's spinach, so I would say we just get going. Uh, oh, hey, uh, Clover, perfect. So, I, I see 50 numbers now. What, ju what just happened? Look at this. We were just had, like we just had 300 for everything, and now the um, I think the I saw a 1.2k crits. Yes, of course, it's the crits. Oh, that makes so much sense. So I went to the Arcana on the stage and checked out all the Arcana that can affect this weapon. Crits are a thing, which is amazing. That makes me already love the weapon since it means we have insane scaling. And uh, yeah, as you can see, speed affects it as well. Um, amount affects it. The more amount you have, the more you lick around. As the old saying goes, lick around and find out. Huh? Uh, um, Gemini also affects it, but I don't think we'll go for that because we have to make a decision between Boogaloo of Illusions, the crits, and Gemini. And I don't think Gemini will be good unless we would just die otherwise, you know. So, yeah, I will just um, try to sneak through here. This is... Oh, we, we did it. And there's Google of Illusions. Power might that is crazy. What is going on? I mean, I know what's going on. We are transformed right now. But, wait, do we get bonus damage every single time we transform? Like, every single time it goes up by 100? Or it's temporary? I wonder. I would like to see that. Because 400 sounds like a little bit too much for me. And we'll just keep an eye on that. Uh, I'll run down to the crown. The red attacks... And let me just quickly turn off the damage numbers because now we don't need them anymore. The red attacks should focus on the guardians. They should always be the strongest enemies we have here. It's not really happening, is it? This reminds me a little bit of these... these uh, what are they called? They're like hands. And they are sticky. And you can fling them and they hit... Like when they hit something, they stick to it. Why are you getting frozen? What? Yeah, look at this. Why is he getting frozen? That is so weird. Uh, let me run down though, I'm wasting time right now. I want to have to crown. 
And after the crown, we'll immediately go for the academy badge to have more attacks because I want to hit as many enemies as possible for more experience. There we go. Uh, so far, this has been going quite well, though. I like it. And uh, there is more crown. I think I will go back and pick up this chest and then we pick up the red jet. That is just beautiful. Wow. Oh, that is just perfect because now we get bonus experience and I get to pick up the red gem. That was not it. Uh oh, that was not it. Uh, where would I be if I was the red gem? Where would I be if I was the red gem? Now the question is, is this the biggie? Oh yeah, it is. Perfect. Nice. Area, area. We'll just focus on area in the beginning to make sure we actually hit as many enemies as possible. As well as amount. I would just like to have a little bit, you know. I've gotten so much amount here. I wonder how much we will lick around once I'm out of the screen, because that should be quite crazy. Not only because of all the level ups that we have right now, but just like because of the bonus amount afterwards. Okay, it didn't trigger a huge amount of weapons and honestly, is it just me or does it feel like the amount had zero effect on the weapon? Like that's it, this looks so weird. Does this really look like it had an impact? To me it doesn't, because um, if it has no impact, what is the stat now? Oh, 430, nothing changed, okay. It, it doesn't look like it had an impact, and then I wouldn't need this academy badge. So, yeah, does this really make sense? I mean, I'll take it, we don't know it any better, but I wouldn't be surprised if this, like, once you're evolved and get stronger, it, it just has a set amount, and you can't affect that anymore. We wouldn't even notice it, right? I mean, if you go... Where's the red gem? Where? Oh, the guardians died already. But that was fast. Why is the red one going so crazy? Are you noticing this? Huh. Maybe a mount works a little bit different on this weapon. The pink one definitely gets spawned at once and it's so weird because it just goes into one direction. I don't really know how that's working. Huh. It seems to be the direction I'm facing. It has a preference to go there, but not always. Like, do you see that? The moment I change direction, it seems to shift over there, but maybe the red one is just, I have 10 amounts, so I have to make 10 attacks very fast. You know, that could be it. But I would say it's time for random always. There we go. Um, what is our damage looking like right now? Uh, probably 1.4k. It has a 4 times crit. Are you kidding me? Wait, what? Wait, that would be insane. Wait, because with Slash, there was 1.4k though. That's a 5 times crit. What? Because with Slash, it should be doubled. Two. Wait, what? That would be utterly ridiculous. Because that would be a 10 times damage crit. There's no way that's true. It's probably a special effect, like something that is meant to be an insta kill, I would assume. Um, yeah, I'm not getting really defended here. So I will keep on the damage numbers for a little bit that you can check them out. But yeah, we have different damages in here. Like the 60, very low. I think I regret a bit that I skipped might so much, but like you don't need might early on, usually. And at a min minute 11, we'll get the slash, and that means we should have like a huge amount of damage. Because not only does it make the crit more likely, but it also increases the damage of the crits, like both things. Oh no, I'm back to normal. Oh! Oh, now the pink stuff is gone. Oh, that's bad. Um, uh, okay. Uh, there's a freeze, that's good, I guess. So how does this work now? Oh. Huh. It's definitely not a reliable weapon. That much I can say. Like, if you stop killing enemies frequently and you don't get this damage boost, like this this, this effect boost, ouch, it's really bad. Wait, 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 wait. Are you seeing this? I'm pretty sure I have way more of the pink stuff now than I had the last time. Wait, why did you get so big? That was weird. Um, right? Like, the, the last rotation that we had, where the pink stuff was active, we had way less of them, and now it suddenly was so much. Why... How am I so tanky? Wait, what? He doesn't really care that he gets hit. Uh, that's, that's funny. Okay, this could be a problem. I think Slash will take care of this because we frequently get more kills, so we trigger always this effect that we have. Oh my god. Okay. What a weird weapon. So now seeing this, I'm actually starting to question if it's a good idea to go for Slash or if I should just go for Gemini to have additional attacks. The issue with Gemini is, I think it doesn't scale with Limit Break, right? It's just the base damage of the weapon, which would mean we deal like no damage with it at all. Even though we hit a lot of enemies, it wouldn't make a big difference. Um, that would be a problem. And not only that, but we need to be more reliable with our crits. The odds to crit seem to be super low. Like, I would guess it's maybe 10%. Possibly even less. Let's actually take a look at this again. So... <laughs> pink stuff starting. 
Um, looking at the crit numbers, we're looking for 1,700 right now. That's a four times crit. Yeah, it's like, it's maybe even 5%. Like, keep in mind that right now we have 150% bonus luck. So if it was 10% on the main weapon, we would be at 25% chance. That's not what we have seen there, I think. So, yeah. I would assume that this effect gets triggered every 5,000 kills, maybe. Maybe 10,000 kills now. Like, usually these effects, they get triggered a lot in the beginning. Like, after, let's say, 1,000, then 2,000, then, then 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. And then it's every 5,000 kills that it gets triggered. Okay. Hmm. So the sad part is, some weapons... E Why are there snakes? I just saw mini snakes crawling towards me. Those are not normal enemies, right? Huh. And I just saw a big uh, skeleton dude. Wait, why are some of these enemies so big? Is it normal? Did I just never notice that? I, I guess? Huh. Yeah, I, usually we have weapons that cover the entire- Dude, did you just see the ginormous snake? There's no way- Is the weapon doing that? Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, nice. I actually have to make sure that I get, um, chickens. Uh, yeah, I'll walk up there. But yeah, I have to make sure whenever this is active that I walk around and heal myself up because it looks like we have to wait for a while. Still undecided what Arcana would be the best one. Like, I could even go for something maybe entirely different. I, I don't see that being the case. I really just think we have to make sure that the crits, they are reliable. What just happened with this dude? Yeah, that's the main weapon, isn't it? Like, because otherwise it would happen to every single enemy, but like, we attack so much, so why doesn't this always happen? That is so weird. What is even the purpose of that? Like, are these enemies stronger? Or do you get bonuses when you kill them? Well, regardless, I think the best decision is just slash. And it can just happen that even though a weapon could be super duper good on its own, like, let's say in a build with six weapons or three weapons, it's a really good addition. On its own, it's just not that great. You know, it can't do it. And that's just how it is, you know. But that's also a good experience to make because then you know the limits of the weapon where it has its use cases. Um... Yeah, I need... I, I need help. Uh, we are, we're only one minute away, though, from the boss, though. Uh, th that's a boss? Okay, that should be easy. Ah, that was a little bit too late. Actually, I got the red gem. That was so lucky. The, the, it was on the floor there. Um, can the boss just leave me alone, please? Can you die? Can you, oh, thank you. We are about to at 80,000. I wonder if it blows up again at that point. Uh, there is a vacuum over here. Yeah, good that we have the bonus revivals, man. But I think once we have crit, this is the best state we can po Yeah, okay, 80,000. It's the best state we can possibly be in. And uh, that means if it fails, that was just it. I think the video is then over, and we can't change it. Of course, I could not take Wicked Season and stuff like that, but I think once we start doing that, it just gets a little bit boring to test out how to make a weapon work, which sometimes is fun, you know, when you challenge yourself, but most cases not. This one has bounces. This will be a very, very interesting weapon. Like, I can't wait to limit break that one. This one has the healing as well. I can't wait to limit break this one because we'll have insane healing. Because the weapon get, gets a lot of bonus healing based on your recovery and amount, I think it was. Yeah, there you can see it. there is our weapon. I mean, no, no, it's, it's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. I could take speed, but nah, that also doesn't do anything. Damage is my main problem. Let's keep rolling. I'm actually noticing there are not that many new weapons listed here, but that could be because I haven't discovered them and maybe that's why they are not listed. I'm not sure how that worked in Vampire Survivors. This always has the main weapon in there and there are crits. So, please, I want to see at least 50% crits here. Mm, honestly, looking at these numbers, it feels like 30 to 40% and we have uh, scaling luck, right? Now, one thing I'm noticing is we're dealing like 50 damage, we're dealing 300 damage and we're dealing 3000 damage almost, like 2800 or so. Those are drastically differing uh, numbers. Okay, now it's always 300. Okay. And 2,800. So it's a 9 times crit. That is an odd number. Oh, but this is looking really bad. Yeah, and it takes longer and longer and longer for us to get to the next stage where it triggers it again. Which is a problem. Mm, do I press the pressure blade? Sometimes this can actually help that the enemies that just keep moving towards you, especially for distance limited weapons, this helps that they get to hit the enemies earlier. So let's give this a try and hope that this kind of fixes a bit. Also, limit break can... Okay, is it just me or did area do nothing at all? Wait, what? Um, I'm not sure. I would need to go back to minute one, but I really feel like area changed nothing. 
We have 333%, that is a huge amount. As, like, but the, web, the main weapon had a lot of area in there. Does evolution just not have an area? Yo, my god. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I'm, I'm 3.5k kills away from evolving. Uh, from transforming. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, um, 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 help, 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 big help, big help. Freeze! Oh, uh, well, um, I, I guess, yeah. Okay, nice. So at this point, we only have one revival left. That means if I die the next time, it, the fun is over, you know? Um, that was the final revival then. So it's definitely a very interesting weapon, but I think you, you don't want to make a, a solo weapon limit break on it. We can take away the Silent Old Sanctuary and all of that good stuff, but I usually tend to avoid that because I think it's just boring to do that. You know, if you want to compare or check out different weapons, if you then lower the standard for one of them heavily just to survive, that's a little bit cheaty to me, and I rather like to view this as, well, the weapon is just not meant to do it, you know? It's totally fine. You don't have to do stuff. Like, sometimes, you, you just can't do it. Now, the good thing is, we are close to having everything maxed out, I think. Like, area bonus, maybe, also, hopefully. And that would mean we only have damage scaling left, which means we get more kills. Which we are needing desperately right now. Like, we are 6,000 kills away from the next explosion. Um, that's a problem. Okay, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 this, this is just not happening. This is not happening. The enemies are way too strong. Okay, before I give up, we'll go for Gemini here. I want to test this out. Uh, that's a little bit weird. It has like these white attacks now. Maybe this will be enough to cover me, because the biggest issue was really when this special effect was gone. And maybe this will be enough to just, you know, deal with the enemies, hopefully. If not, then, yeah, there's nothing we can do. Um, well, it's definitely interesting. This will mean that we are skipping Boogaloo of Illusions entirely. Um, but honestly, like, if you look at these, it, it doesn't look much different in size, right? I wonder if area actually affects the weapon, because it doesn't look like it. Like, it feels like it's entirely wasted. And if you always have the silver stuff active, then this would mean... Wait, the silver stuff is actually crazy, isn't it? Look at the range it has. Or is it just because it has a different form, it looks crazier than it actually is? I'm not so sure about that, but um, yeah, that seems to be like the decent coverage that we have here. Huh. Interesting. Okay, let's pick this up quickly. We should be able to kill the Guardians. Now, the main concern that I had is damage, okay? And we can check this out. Do we see drastically different numbers? Yeah. So, huh. actually, we can't really see them because we just exploded. I wonder if the white stuff just has the base damage without a uh, limit break. Because that would be horrible. That would mean it's not scaling and it doesn't matter that we have it. Eventually it just has no impact that we hit the enemies with very weak attacks. But I would say I will just skip forward to the point where I have died. So we can compare the side by side. But there is a very good chance that nothing will change. And it's just impossible to do this with this weapon. What? Look at this damage number. That's a 30,000, right? Yeah. So, this dude just became big. Here, 30,000. That's like an insta-kill, isn't it? Huh? Oh, okay, I didn't see that before, that you have these insane damage numbers there when that happens. So, I guess it's a very, very, very low chance to just insta-kill enemies. Um, I'm thinking, is there any way to, like, majorly increase luck? But we are already doing everything that gives you a bunch of luck. So, I don't think we can affect anything anymore. But that is interesting. Okay, so we had 11 minutes, we now have Slash. Looking at the damage numbers, I noticed that we have 190s over here, 400s, and then the huge crits with uh, 3,500. So the white one definitely has lower damage, but it looks like it's almost the same thing as the bonus tentacles that we have, which is at least good. You know, it doesn't seem to be weaker, but we have the same issue as before. Uh, wait, the bonus tentacles are weaker. Look at this. They only deal 70 damage, what? Well, that's horrible. Well, I guess, but we have a ton of them, right? Yeah, so I think this will be a little bit more successful, but we may die at exactly the same point, because that wave that we died on, those are enemies that are just like very tanky, very powerful, hard to deal with. So I, I don't know how this will be. Okay, can you just die, please? Come on, thank you. Oh yeah. We, hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm, no, no, we don't need that. I mean, we can definitely make a lot of fun video- Oh, We can definitely make a lot of fun videos with the scanner. Just as additional weapon, it makes the main weapon a little bit weaker for a moment, but once the stats are in, it should make it super giga broken. Okay, this is- this is just horrible. Wow, this is utterly horrible. Um... Yeah, this weapon is not meant to be a solo weapon. You can forget about this. There's just not enough coverage here. Yeah. And even with Slash, we don't really crit a lot, I'm noticing. Like, you would expect we would crit a huge amount, but, um, it's just... It looks almost like 1 in 10. Why is it so bad now? How can we deal with Curse without this special effect? Uh... Oh, that's actually not bad. I mean, it's not great either, but it, we are surviving, you know? So, I think the other ladies about to spawn? Yeah, they are. So, this is where we died. Is there any difference with Gemini? It's not that I expected a difference, like I said this in the past, but I didn't want to let you guys hanging that like you have to guess or hope or think that it was a difference and then it's like, oh, I wish Dex did that and now I won't know it. Well, it looks like it doesn't really make a difference. Now the good thing is, because of Gemini, we have double the firing power out of our mouth and out of our butt. Oh, Bitrate gets destroyed. Uh, um, yeah, uh -huh. Okay. Those are a lot of damage numbers. Um, huh. But this is bad. This is really bad. So, we're about to reach uh, 15 minutes. That means there's a new spawn cycle, and maybe this was the bigger problem. Like, it was definitely easier, though, to be fair. I was also freezing the enemies like crazy, knowing. No, 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 no. This is, like, no difference. The moment our special ability is gone, I think I would just die. Um. Well. Okay, let's turn off the damage numbers. Let's see what actually happens. Why is this... Why am I not taking damage? I mean, I'm not complaining, but why? Yeah, so about that. <laughs> it didn't last very long. So, I think the weapon is a lot of fun. Hey, we actually got the achievement, nice. I think the weapon is a lot of fun, but it, it's just on its own. It's not good enough. But I hope you still enjoyed exploring the new weapon and the new character. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.